Good morning. I called about the leaves in the paper. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Sorry I wake you up so early. Uh, it's okay. I was out jogging. You're out jogging? Okay, good. Hey, hey what, what's your name? Uh, my name is Jill. Who's this? Hi, Jill. How are you doing? My Hi. name is Gong Chang Chang. Oh, okay. And I called about your lease. How much you want for a lease? It says here $900? Yeah, that's, that's how much the lease is. It's, it's 900 a month, but it's a, it's a one bedroom. It's got a sofa bed. It's got a, a one and a half bath. There's a pool out back. So it's a really nice place. For $900? Yeah. Oh, man, that's pretty expensive for one bedroom play $900. I don't know. Well, have... it's, 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 it comes with, you know, the dishwasher, the oven. It's even got a built-in microwave. It's it's. It's worth of the money. Yeah, I understand, but I listen. How much? How many people sleep? Cause I got like fourteen people. I gotta move in here. How many? Fourteen. Four? Fourteen. 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 No, this is a one bedroom, and it's got a sofa bed. But I mean, how many people could I sit on the sofa? Uh, it's like a double, maybe two people. Two people, maybe three. It depends on if it's like. I mean, you need to get eleven people in the bedroom. You're you. This is not an apartment for fourteen. People, you would need like a house or something. Well, then you charge too much. I give you four fifty. You give me four fifty. The the apartment's nine hundred a month. A month. Maybe you carry extra four fifty. Cause not big enough for me. I, 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 you know, it's not my option. The apartment's nine hundred a month, and it only would really comfortably live maybe two or three people. It's not. It's not a house, it's an apartment. Okay, I guess I, my brother family can move in there. Hey, Lizzie, I got to ask you. Okay, how big a kitchen? Uh, it's moderate size. Like I said, it's got an oven and a dishwasher and a refrigerator. Is, um, there, is there room to skin cats in there? To do what? Skin cat? To sink to, to cows? Sink cats? Skin cat? Skin cat? Skin cat? Yeah, ma'am. You know that's illegal, don't you? You're not allowed to skin cats, for God's sake. That's animal. It's, it's... Who are you? What? Jill? What? Your name Jill? Yes, my name is Jill. Who is this? This is Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJL Radio. Oh, Jill, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. No. Uh, yes. Oh, good morning. Yes. Your friends wanted to get you this morning. Oh, my God. I've had some bizarre thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst. <laughs> this was the worst. <laughs> you yeah. cat? <laughs> you have anything to say to your girlfriends? Oh, well, tell her to watch her back. It's yeah. her turn next. It was uh -oh. Terry. It was uh -oh. Terry. Uh -oh. All right, hold on the line, okay? we got a little something for you. <laughs> Our Skin and Cats t-shirt you can wear to school. When you graduate, you can wear it to the graduation. Oh, thanks. Go, don't go away. Oh. It's 651 Lamont and Tonelli. I love Dirty Friday, <laughs> Dirty man. Friday the 13th. Good morning. I'm looking for Efren. Please. This is Efren. Hey, Efren. How you doing? Uh, this is uh, Officer Mike Unstinks calling from the uh, from the uh, police department. I'm calling in regards to your truck that we had to tag and tow this morning. What? Your uh, your truck was parked on your front lawn, and you've been uh, cited a number of times, and it was time to tow your no. truck this morning. No, I have I have not. It's okay. It's okay to park. I can park there. No, sir. You. It's not okay to park there. We have to tow your truck this earlier this morning. No, many. Mm, your uh, neighbors are complaining, sir. No. no we have no. we have bylaws in your area. No. Mm, mm, many many people park on. It's okay. No, sir. There's a city ordinance. You're not allowed to park on your lawn, sir. No. Mm, what? No. It's um. It's okay. Well, sir, you can come down to the impound. You're, uh, we're charging $150 for the towing fees. No, and no. the storage fees are $100 okay, no. a day. No. Um, you, don't, you don't tell me where um, to uh, my car goes, okay? Look, sir, we've already sent the crew. Your truck has been towed from your front lawn. No. And, sir, let me just say, no, we have ordinances. That's why your neighbors are complaining. No. No, you don't. You don't touch my, you don't touch my a, a truck. It's been towed. It's in the impound yard. You're up for a hundred dollars a day for today's storage fee. Listen, you mother. All right, well, we'll have to. <laughs> Wait, this English is, is yeah, this English is a lot better than I thought it was. Well, at least he knows a word other than no. <laughs> <laughs> I was beginning to wonder for a minute. Uh, we, uh... We, no? Good morning. I'm looking for Efren. Please. Uh, uh, Efren, hi. This is uh, Mike Unstinks calling from the uh, police department. Who? Mr. Uh, I'm Officer Unstinks. 
I'm calling in regards to the truck that we towed earlier on this morning and you hung up on us? No, no, okay. It's better. Listen, listen. No way. Sir, am I, okay, di no. am I disrupting you at work this morning? No, no, no. Um, pinch, please. Okay, okay, where is my truck? Your where truck is, is at the police impound, sir. No. Okay. No, I'm I'm going I'm going for my truck and there's no money. Excuse me? No, I'm going for my truck. Well no, sir, in order to free your truck you have to pay the towing charges and the storage fee for today. And if you don't come today, then we'll add another day of storage fee. Okay. You see you shouldn't be parking no. on your front lawn. We have well, we have bylaws. No. You broke a city ordinance, sir. No. Mm. And unless it's paid within ten days, then we auction your truck off. No. Okay, I'm going for my truck now, and there's no money, asshole. What do you mean there's no money? I, I don't pay. Sir, you're, it's at the police compound. What do you mean you're not going to pay? No pay, no trucky. Sir. Okay. Sir, are you there? Where? Where? Where is my truck? At the police compound, Where? at the parking Where? lot of 92 KSJO, it's Dirty Friday. Your Where? wife Maria sets you up. You're on the radio, Ephraim. No. Yes, sir. Do you have that... anything to say to Maria? Uh, oh, uh, Ephraim. Right, right now? You're on the radio. Your truck is still on your front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Everett, hold on the line, all right? Uh, but you might want to move that truck. Yeah. Hold on the line, Ephraim. Who? This is this is Mike Unstinks calling from KSJO. Um, it's it's okay. All right, it's okay. Yeah, you, don't worry, everything's on, okay. You hold on the line. Okay. Right. Hopefully, he understands. <laughs> Hopefully. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Matt. Please. This is him. Hi, Max. How you doing this morning? This is uh, Doctor Furskin calling from. Uh, hospital well, i'm just getting ready to get this thing over with get out get it out of the way now now what exactly happened here i'm looking at the medical records you broke your arm elbow is that I, correct i broke my elbow i was up uh working on a roof and uh, i got caught under some shingles and a lot like an avalanche i just uh, just rode it right off the roof landed into a trailer full of shingles mm. and i broke the elbow in three places now, you're scheduled to come in for to surgery. That is this coming Tuesday. Is that correct? Yeah, I've got my ride arrangements and everything all set to go, so I'm, I'm ready on my end. Well, Max, I've got... Are you in pain? Oh, yeah. Max, uh, Max I don't know what to do here because we've had to... Uh, we're going to have to uh, cancel the scheduled surgery. Why? Well, what it's do you mean, cancel? It, well, it seems your insurance company... Is, isn't covering this for some oh, reason. Oh, God, I've gone over and over on this thing. Jesus, criminy, it's workman's comp. <clears throat> well, I understand that, sir, but, but as you can see from the hospital's point of view, unless all the paperwork is taken care of, well, we're dealing with the insurance company here, and they say this is a non-relatable injury. <laughs> How could it be a non-relatable injury? Sir, I'm not I, working. I understand. You know, I fell nine feet down on the, onto this thing and cracked my elbow. What do you mean that's non-related? If I fall on shingles, God damn it, I'm, I'm tearing off these goddamn shingles from the roof. And if I fall off a roof on the shingles, how the hell that cannot that not be work-related? Look, sir, sir, maybe maybe they're saying it was um, it, it was negligence on your part. I don't know. I'm not. I, hey, look, I'm not the insurance company. Oh. I just see this came back red tagged, and I, I've got to give you a call. To say we're canceling the well, surgery. You can take your red tag and shove it up your ass, because no, I'm calling no. my insurance company. Well, sir, now you see. Oh my! <laughs> hey, Max, you don't have to get mad about it. <laughs> Hello. I know you're looking for Rose. Yeah, this is Rose. Hi, Rose. I call. I'm district manager of uh, cleaners. I yeah. call. I, I think we got the problem here concerning your dry cleaning. Yeah. Now I understand that you say that the uh, the problem with the clothes. Yeah, there's a problem with the clothes. What the problem? What's the problem? I it's look like... at your claim. I can't understand what you talk about. Well, look at the shirt. I don't have no shirt. You took the shirt with you. Okay. If I if I show you the shirt, you would be able to see it perfectly. There is a big stain in it. 
Would you be a big stain? There's a big stain in my shirt that was not there. I went, I had it dry cleaned. It came back with a huge stain. What kind of stain have in your shirt? A big pen mark. Well, Ink. according to people who looked at your shirt before, it was there. Wait a minute, slow down. The, the, stain, the stain was there when you gave the shirt to be dry cleaned. No, it was not there. They I even I would know little, that. They even bring a little tag and say, I saw you, you can't do this because of stain. No, that's not the case. Nobody put any tag at all. Well, I'm sorry, but my, my employee tell me that you try to rip me off. No, but... I'm, not trying to f I'm not trying to rip you off, all right? I brought the shirt in. You know, this is like, this happens all the... I brought the shirt in. There's a stain now. Well, the stain, you just admit then. You, you just admit to me that the stain... Like I the... want it handled, all right? You... And if I don't get it handled, I'm going to get my lawyer, and I'm going to get him to deal with it, because this is not okay. You just tell me that the stain was there beforehand. You no, just the say stain it was, was, the stain was there when you brought it in. Look, I'm going to get the better, better business bureau after your business if you don't get this handled, and my lawyer. Let me tell you, let me... Uh -oh, she hung up. Gone. Wow, what a temper on her. What a hothead. Let her still we'll give her a call back in a moment. I love Dirty Friday, man. Hello? Hi, go on, look for a road, please. Yes, this is Rose. Rose, hi. I call once again from Cleaner. I yeah. call about... Look, I did district manager. I talked to the employee. They tell me, they assure me, nothing wrong with that shirt when it came or when left, yeah. All right, look, asshole, I want to tell you something. But I have a picture of this shirt. Yeah. Okay? Of uh -huh. you wearing it the night before with nothing on it. They say, right? they, Listen, they say it was no, stay when stop, you came in here. Stop cutting me off. I don't care what they said. Okay? I had a shirt. I wore it. I brought it in to get a standard dry cleaning, and there was a big mark on it. Well, that now, can't if you be. do not handle no, this for that me, can't, Apple, that can't, I will get my lawyer, and I will get the business that, to, Better Business Bureau, and I will shut your business down. That, you can't, your be, money back. that can't be our uh, problem, because yes, nothing else is. in the batch that was uh, dry clean came back stained, except for your shirt. Well, I'm sorry, so but that's I want a, my money back. A scientifically impossible, ma'am. You're, you're being bitchy. Excuse me? You're being big bitch. You're trying to get me to pay for shirt that you probably dirty up with. Who knows? You know what? I don't even need to hear this anymore, okay? Listen, Rose, let me tell you something else. Maybe that shirt not stained uh, by you. Maybe that shirt not stained by me. What are you talking about? Maybe that shirt stained by Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. <laughs> Rose, it's Dirty Friday. <laughs> You're on the air. Your friend said to give you a call this morning. <laughs> we got you. Good morning. Oh my God. You know, I don't know if there's anything wrong with your phone, but Lamont's name is not Axel. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm mortified. <laughs> Rose, you hold on the line. Oh my we'll God. We'll get you a Castillo t shirt to wear instead of that stained up shirt. Fine. Although it might have one of my love stains on it, but I you, can't guarantee you, Axel, that. You. <laughs> 8.57, we are the Rock. Lamont Tinelli, 1 800 575 Castillo. Hook, line, and sinker. Hello? <clears throat> Good morning. I'm looking for Leonard, please. Um, he's not here right now. Um, he's at work. May I take a message? Yes, who's this? This is his mom, Joan. Oh, hi, Joan. How are you? I'm fine. Who's this? This is, this is Sebastian. And uh, can I leave a message with you? Uh, yes. Hold on. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, that'd be wonderful. All right. Okay. Uh, can, can, I'm surprised he went into work today. Can you leave the message that our ceremony today uh, had been moved back an hour? They've had what? to they've had to move the ceremony back to the protesters. What ceremony are you talking about? The domestic partners day? Our marriage? What? Well, Leonard what? Leonard and I are tying the knot today. Oh, this is a, you must have the wrong number. My uh, my son um, is is he No, no, I haven't got the the wrong, the wrong number at all. This, this I'm looking for for Leonard. I've been, seeing, I've been seeing him for three, four I, years. I'm sorry, my son is not seeing a girl, and he hasn't for a long time, and I think you have the wrong number. This has got to be a mistake. I'm very sorry. Um, I've been dating your son for three years. No, this is a big mistake. <laughs> oh, she hung up. <laughs> oh, we have to call Joe no. back. My son is not dating a girl right now. He hasn't for years. <laughs> well, what, what is the tip off to you? Hello? Good morning. Is, is this Joan? Yes. Joan, hi, it's Sebastian calling. Listen, I am oh, so... Oh, you again. Look, I'm so sorry I let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. Listen, I... I, th I thought Leonard told you the reason he flew you into my town. My son is not a homosexual. 
Well, I, I'm dating him. I said I no. I don't know where you get up upsetting me like this on my vacation. I came in to visit him. He is not it's, homosexual. We have our ceremony off that for today at City Hall. I called the phone company. I'm having this, this, this call traced, and I don't want you calling here again. Listen, ma'am, 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 ma have you ever wondered why your son flew you in? Because he wants you to take part in it, and I get the I kind of, I'm, I'm sorry, I ruined the surprise. Yeah. Now, listen, listen, if you really... It's not a surprise. It's not real. If you, not, if, if you really want to surprise your son, maybe you can bring us a nice gift to the ceremony today, maybe a case of anal leave. Are you some telemarketer? Now you want something? What's anal leave? It's something that we go through like crazy. Listen, I wish you would stop calling here. My son is not a homosexual. I'll see you today at the ceremony around noon. Hey, by the way... I'm not going anywhere. Jo Joan, by I'm the... I'm going to hang up again. By, by the way, I... before you hang up, Joan, let me just say, welcome to the Bay Area. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Who the hell is this? It's it's Lamont and Tonelli. You're on the radio, ma'am. Good morning. Your son said to welcome you. It's Dirty Friday. This was all Leonard's idea. I am going to kill him. <laughs> I thought you... He, Joan, Joan, it's okay. Poofers. Well, excuse me? Huh? You're both poofters. Poofters? <laughs> oh. You'll recognize, so do I win anything? You'll recognize Lamont. He's the one in the wedding dress. <laughs> oh. Hey, Joan, your son wanted to welcome you to the Bay Area. I'm welcome. But by the way, maybe you should buy some anal lease. I don't, I'm not telling you what's going on in his life. Well, but... it's great for sticky hinges. <laughs> you hold on the line, okay? We'll get you a little something. You have a squeaky door or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Get WD-40. You <laughs> dab a little anal lease on there. <laughs> you puffed us. Who the hell's a puffed us? See if she checked out our calendar, our politically incorrect calendar, she'd see you in the wedding dress. <laughs> That's not necessarily part of the third annual domestic partner commitment. No, ceremony. absolutely not. Be held in San Francisco today. Welcome to the Bay Area, Joan. Hello. Good morning, sir. I'm calling from the uh, automated system of uh, emergency alert. Is this is this Robert? Uh, yeah. Good morning, sir. I'm calling in regards to a uh, system uh, failure we have here, and I'm um, I'm calling everyone in the area to let them know that they must evacuate their home. Okay. Uh, We've had another problem at the refinery. What what direction do we evacuate? Uh, it's coming towards your place, sir. Oh, it what? happened. It happened two hours ago. And you're calling me now. I mean, how much time do I got here? I've got to get my family up and get them out of here. Uh, we we have approximately five to six minutes. Oh Jesus! Look, my wife's gone. I, uh, uh, and you're giving me five minutes to get the hell out. Yes, sir. Two hours. The automated system was down again this morning, sir. It didn't go off. You guys are so goddamn stupid. See ya. <laughs> we got to call him back before he leaves his house. <laughs> Call him back right now. Okay. You don't want the same thing to happen with him as happened with, with Dave earlier this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Heading out to the body shop to save his distressed car. Hello. Good morning. Is uh, Robert... Please. Hey, look, I'm trying to get my people out of the house here. Now, what are you doing? Robert, now, before you get them out of the house, make sure you get a few provisions, all right? Like what? And, and Robin, uh, uh, Robert, another thing to make sure of... And now your wife Nadine, you said you mentioned she's not home. No. Do you do you know where she is? I think she's at work. Well, you you think you think right. She's also probably listening to the radio because Robert, she said to give a call. It's Lamont Antonelli on KSJ. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she said this whole thing shook you up so much, and she 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 said to give you a burn this morning. You guys are dandies. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to say to your wife? Uh, not on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, hold on the line, okay? <laughs> okay. She wanted to pour a little gas on the fire, so to speak. <laughs> oh, he is not happy. <laughs> wife loved it, though. We did it for the wife. That's yes, what she wanted to do to him. the ones you love. It's a theme on Dirty Friday. 1-800-575-KSL. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Carlos. Please. You got him. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm calling from, uh, E. -E. Uh-huh. In regards cool. to your, um, I'm investigating the uh, fraud on your on your phone bill. Right, 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 right. I want to take care of that, get that over with. Okay, now now let me get this straight. The cell phone bill that is in question was over $600. Is that yeah, correct? Exactly. And, you know, my average bill is usually like 80 to $90. So, obviously, that's a mistake. So, I'm glad you guys, you know, you guys are just going to take care of this, you know. <laughs> well, not not so quick because we've been looking at this this week. Uh-huh. And we've, we've investigated some of the numbers called. And yeah. according to... To the pages that I'm looking at, the numbers are your regular numbers that you call. Okay, listen. 
but I never called them. Do you understand? Okay? I never well, called them. Well, Obviously, somebody's using my number. Well, Carlos, we've, we've looked at this, and we've, we've investigated, and we see no fraud on this bill. Yeah, okay, listen. Somebody cloned my number, okay? I am not going to pay it, okay? So just cancel it. Because I'm telling you, those are not my numbers. I did not call those but numbers. You see, but, but, Carlos, you see, we've investigated the numbers that have been called, and they've, they've turned up with great frequency on your previous bills. Listen, I'm not getting through to you. Somebody cloned my number, okay? Some asshole stole my number. Now, look, okay? uh, Car Carlos, I understand. You try and contain yourself here. I'm really what, once again, I have looked at your bill, and, uh -huh. and according to your past history, you have called these numbers. Now, we see no, no sign of cloning here whatsoever, and thus you're liable for this month's bill. Now, however, what we will do is give you a security code to punch in after you dial your numbers for next month. Okay, okay, listen. Screw, screw, screw the agreement, okay? This is a bunch of retarded crap, okay? I will be damned if I'm going to pay for numbers I did not call. They are not my numbers. Somebody stole my number. Sir, if you look stole my number. If you look if you look at the bottom line of the agreement, you're you're you you yourself you yourself you yourself are responsible for all calls made on your number. Now we have looked at our system and it does not show any sign of cloning here whatsoever. Hey, listen, listen. Screw your agreement. There is no way I am paying this bill, okay? And if you have anything else to say, you can say it to my lawyer. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and he sounded so happy to hear from you right when he first answered the phone. He's like, oh, yeah, I want to send this whole thing out. Hello? Hello, is uh, Carlos? Please. Yeah, you got him. Carlos, hi. I'm calling once again from uh, GTE. Yeah, did, you, did you take care of it? No, sir. Listen, listen, I understand you're angry, and please don't get too mad here because I've taken your concerns to my boss. Uh-huh. Did he fix it? And my boss says we will review your bill again. Okay. So what we're going to do is take a look at every single call that was made uh -huh. and try to find the origin of the calls. Uh -huh. But, let, P Carlos, you've got to come clean with me. Tell me, sir, you did use your cell phone that month. Yeah, but there's nothing to come clean about. I didn't make all those extra calls. Carlos, so you, you used your... Because the numbers that we reviewed la the, over the last week, we had it that you made these calls. I now, make... I make like 80, 90 calls. Uh, th those are not my calls. Those are above and beyond what I usually do. Okay, I understand you, sir. You, so you, you, you attest then. Yes. You, you attest that you did not yes. make six hundred dollars worth of phone calls. Absolutely. Now, sir, would it be fair to say maybe you made half of these calls? You're... No, no, no. You can talk to my lawyer, man. I'm telling no, no, you, I but, did not make sir, these calls. Don't bring your lawyer into this. I'm just trying to to head off the investigation with the fraud division. Head it off. No, 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 Carlos. No now, Carlos, maybe I can tell you this. Your wife said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJL. You're on the air. It's Dirty oh, Friday. Man. <laughs> Good oh, morning. that bitch. <laughs> oh, that bitch. Oh, she, she set me up. She set you up <laughs> on the radio. Up. She got you, Carlos. <laughs> you're, you're down and you're, oh. you're low down, and, and she said to stay oh. you on the air. Hey, Carlos, the bad news is uh, oh. you still have a cell phone bill to work out. <laughs> Oh, man. Hold oh, on. Jesus Carlos, hold on, hold on the line, okay? Yeah, hold on. All right. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for the assistant manager. This is me. Okay, I called the front, and they transferred me over. What's your name? Kim Marie. Hi, Kim. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Not good. I was in your restaurant Wednesday night, okay. and I had something. I There was like a Band-Aid in my food. Oh, no. Yeah. It was the worst service I've ever had in my life, and I almost puked up my guts oh my when God. I bit into this Band-Aid. Mm. Well, I'm really sorry. I mean, well, we could definitely take care of it. If, you know, you can come in the next time you're in here, you just ask for me, and, and you know, your meal is definitely on us, and, you, you know, we can total, we'll totally take care of it. I'm well, sure. you expect me to eat back in that, that pig house after I had a Band-Aid in my food? It looked like a tampon almost, man. It was disgusting. Oh. Uh, I, I, was I, talking, I was talking to, I told the waitress... You did? Yes, ma'am. And who was that? Well, whatever bimbo was working that night, I don't know. Okay. I, I can't imagine that this would happen. I'm so sorry. What? what you're the assistant manager and no one said anything? I, I, what night was it? It was Wednesday evening. Okay, I was definitely here. And you're not sure who the waitress was? You, don't, you didn't get the name? Dark hair, that's all I know. Okay. Hmm, I, I... I can't imagine that I wouldn't have heard about it if you were making a, a scene about it. Well, what manager was working on Wednesday night? It was me. I was here. I was definitely here on Wednesday. Oh, you were there Wednesday? Yes. Are you the one with big tits? Excuse me? 
Are you the one with the big hooters? The kazangas? Um, the tight sweater? I, I, Headlights? Listen, I, I don't think that you need to speak to me like that. I mean, you had melons. Sir, um, if, there, if there was a problem, well, you can come in and we can take care of it, but I really don't, don't need to... I mean, you had some major meat puppies happening there. Somebody will take care of you. Big Hooters. Headlights. <laughs> <laughs> it's direct customer, Sully. Yeah. Direct customer has reared his ugly head. She sounded like such a sweet gal. <laughs> Did you hear the last one just like... <laughs> sweet, sweet Kim Marie with big fun bag. Hello? Hello, I'm looking for the assistant manager. Okay, can you hold on one second? Sure. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I got a complaint. Okay, uh, hold on one sec. Okay. Hello? Hello, is this Kim Marie, the assistant manager? It is. Hi, they just passed me, passed me through again to you? Right. I called about my complaint on Wednesday night and you hung up on me. I did. Now, ma'am, listen, I don't expect to be treated like this. Sir, I'm really sorry. I understand that you had a problem, and, I, and the only thing I can do is apologize and offer you another meal. Uh, but I, I really, it's not my job to, to take your abuse. Well, ma'am, I'm not, I'm not trying to abuse you. I'm just, you said you worked Wednesday night. I'm wondering if you're the one with the big fun bags. See, no, this is totally unnecessary. And, and I, you're the lady walking around with the creamers? Sir. Uh-huh. We can take care of you if you come in. Somebody will be here to help you. So Other should I that, ask, should, when I come in there, should I ask for you? Should I say, hey, I want to talk to the mama with the big kazongs? <laughs> oh, she hung up again. There you go again. <laughs> okay. Got to call her back. Let again. her know that we're dicking with her on Dirty Friday. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, okay. Her staff wants to get her. They say she's just the sweetest gal on earth, too. Hello. Hello, Kim Marie. Yes. Hey, look, I'm uh, calling back concerning my incident on Wednesday night, and you keep hanging up on me. Sir, I, I, I told you. Instead, somebody... hey, look, instead of a meal, can I uh, settle for maybe some big cantaloupes or something? It's, it's, it's this isn't funny. Ma'am, ma'am, ma 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 Kim Marie. Yes. No, you have a staff there, a pretty good staff. So yes, you thought, I do, sir. Yeah. Well, Kim Marie. Maybe you should turn around or just step out of your office and say hi to him. It's Lamont Antonelli on KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air. Shut up. Shut up. You're on. <laughs> Good morning. You know, I should have known. How are those big cans of yours? Shut up. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> hey, the last time you saw your shoes? <laughs> They're all fired. Every single one of them. Okay, Kim Marie, hold on the line. We've got a little something for you, okay? Okay. All right. 851, by the way, Sully, yes. send her a brassiere. Okay. <laughs> Sharks lost to the Kings, 3-2. to two. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Darren. Please. Who? Darren? This is Darren, but it's uh, nobody uh, named Darren Alexander. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the principal of, uh, of uh, Kitayama School, and I'm calling. Uh, I know it's spring break, but an issue came up at the meetings today, uh -huh. and I'm calling in regards to your son, Timothy. Yes. Um, I wanted to get, get it straight before I gave you a call. Uh, apparently, his teacher told us about an incident last week. Where your son was caught playing with zigzags. Zigzags? Yes. My son? Yes, and he was making airplanes out of them and throwing them around the room. My son, Timothy Yancey. Yes. And when, when we questioned him, he said he got them out of his dad's car. Wow. That's terrible. So that's why we're calling. Okay. Now, sir, I don't know if you realize this, but him telling us where he got zigzags and what you're using them for. Just a minute, sir. I got another phone call. All right. As we wait for him, mm -hmm. Darren, mm -hmm. come back. All right. He's crapping his pants right now. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Go ahead, sir. Now, I, I hope you realize that we have to report this to the authorities. But I thought I'd get your take on why your car was full of zigzags before I called. I don't understand. I really don't know why. Maybe somebody, one of my uh, colleagues uh, left him in there. I don't know, sir. Well, according to your son, he said that they're, they're his father's. <laughs> where did he t where, I don't see where he can say that. I'm a truck driver. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I don't see where he... 
Somebody had to leave him in there. Well, sir, I'm just ta I'm uh, you know I'm calling you. I want to get down to the bottom of this. We're very concerned here at the school. Okay. And before I make the next call, I want to try and get to the bottom of the situation. Now, if if you're burning something, that's fine. You come clean with us, and maybe we'll send you to counseling or something like that. Well, I don't need no counseling, sir. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. I don't need any counseling because uh, somebody had to left him in there because I ain't burning anything. I'll take uh, whatever. <sighs> I can't believe this. Well, sir, before I make that call, officially then, you're not burning anything. No. I shouldn't. I have, but I, 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 I not, not, not lately, though, because I, I don't want to uh, jeopardize uh, yeah. anything here. Yeah, I understand. I well, don't, really. Well, Darren, uh, you, you, you... I have, I have in the past. You, you, you were recently married to Dee Dee, is that correct? Recently? Yes. I just got married. Yes, I did. I, and that was approximately 30 days ago or so? Yes, sir. She said to give you a call to Lamont Tonelli and KSJO Dirty Friday. Welcome. Oh, you dog! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to married life, Darren. She's got you by the cojones. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tonelli. I don't believe you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Darren? You know what? You know what's funny about this? What's that? Because I was just about ready to ask, uh, what is your name, you know? Because <laughs> your voice sounded so familiar. Hey, well, Dar you got my hair standing up in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Dar Darren? Yes, sir. Uh, you want to burn one together? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on the line, okay? Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, hey, Darren, do you have anything to say to your new wife, Dee Dee? Oh, I love you, honey. Uh, <laughs> don't go away. <laughs> to ask your neighbors. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Rose. Oh, please. Yeah, this is Rose. Hi, Rose. How you doing? This is uh, Sheriff Deputy uh, John Farts calling from the Santa Clara County Department. Yeah? We're calling in regards to your boyfriend, Mark. Uh, we have him in custody this morning. Uh, what does he do now? Well, he violated a court order that the neighbors have against him. Those assholes. Excuse me? I said those assholes... What did he do? Well, uh, apparently this morning when he was driving to work, he violated the court order by driving by your neighbor who was getting into his car, and he flipped your neighbor off. Yeah, so? Well, ma'am, he's supposed to stay away from your neighbor, and he's not supposed to do things like this. You're not allowed by the... a court order because he flipped them off? Ma'am, he's a, a supposed to avoid all contact with your neighbor. Okay. Driving by your neighbor and flipping him off this morning violated the court order. I got that. Is, is this going to affect the, the, the three-strike thing? Well, he's not convicted yet, ma'am, but if he's convicted, this may play a part in it, yes. He may be looking at 20 years to life. You know what? This is absolutely ridiculous because, you know, we just have parties and we just hang out and we're not crazy people. And our neighbors, it's like... If he gets convicted, I'm going to go over there. They are assholes. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to beat them. No, no, no. no. Hold, hold on. What, you're telling me that you're going to beat yeah. your neighbors up? Now, Rose, you had better watch it because I could slap something on you this morning. What? You're not allowed to threaten people like that. Listen, this is, this is unbelievable. This is outrageous. What, what, now, what, what is the problem with you and your neighbors? Why are your neighbors so mad at you? Oh, God, because we... You know, sometimes we fight and it gets a little loud. I mean, it's a little outrageous. You know, they don't really, I mean, you know, we have parties. We park the cars on our lawn. It's like, you know. And they've reported you for parking cars on your lawn. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Well, you know. ma'am, Mark violated the court order. And uh, we'd like you to come and bail him out. We'll let him out on his own recognizance. All right. I'll be down there a little later. <laughs> She's gone. Well, we have to call her back before she leaves. We will. She said a little later. She said a little later. Yeah, 10 minutes is a little later. Well, we got 10 minutes then. Three hours is a little later. It's 7.46. We've got to do this first. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Rose, please. Yeah, this is Rose. Hi, Rose. Uh, once again, Deputy Sheriff um, um, P. Fart's calling. And I'm calling uh, concerning your boyfriend, Mark. Yeah? We, we... <sighs> Rose, I don't know how to tell you this. What did he do now? You don't have to bother coming down to the uh, the county sheriff's department to pick him up. Why? Well, while we were, as soon as I got off the phone with you, we had a disturbance here at the jailhouse, and Mark was a smack dab in the middle of it. 
A disturbance? Yes, ma'am, and we've had to... What happened now? Well, Rose, we... One of the sheriff deputies walked into the holding cell, and Mark was engaged in, well, a, a warm embrace with one of his fellow cellmates. What? Mark was involved sexually with his cellmate. What? We had to break them up. You gotta be kidding me. No, ma'am. Definitely My against, Mark? Definitely against the house rules here. My Mark? Yes, ma'am. My Mark was with a fag in jail. Your, 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 your Mark was one of them, ma'am. You gotta be kidding. No, ma'am. That's not my Mark. He was the catcher. What? My Mark was a catcher with a fag in jail? Yes, Rose. So as a result, um, I think Mark may have an extended period here, so to speak. Oh, my God. So you don't have to bother coming down to bail him out today, maybe next week at the earliest. Bail him out? Yes. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Rose? What? Rose, Mark also said to give you a call because it's what? Lamont Antonelli on KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air, Rose. Oh, you assholes. Woo! <laughs> 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 <Ooh. laughs> Time to go move that car off the lawn. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a court order against Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Well, it's nice to know that Mark's not in trouble. Exactly. And that he was having fun with her on Dirty Friday. He was actually the pitcher, Rose. Don't worry. <laughs> and what a pretty pitcher he made. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Rich. Please. Speaking. Hi, Rich. How are you doing this morning? Uh, this is... Uh, Phil uh, McCunton from um, the uh, the Union Local. Uh, how you guys doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, hey, listen, Rich, we've got a problem. What's the problem? I've run into these problems with you guys. Well, the problem seems to be the uh, the start date when you started paying benefits. Go on. Now, according to the uh, the records I've looked at here, uh, we, we we've had a dispute. We've had a dispute in the past. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And I told that I told the guy who called before that your records are all fouled up, and I, I you know, I'm going to put your records in place. I'm supposed to start at the end of June. Oh, your retirement's supposed to start at the end of June. Yeah, I've been working since 1974, and uh -huh. I'm looking forward to this date. Well, Rich, that's where the problem lies. It seems that uh, you didn't pay your benefits, yeah, and, yeah. and money wasn't taken out of your your check for six years. Yeah, and the last guy who called said the same thing too, and I thought we'd straighten these things out. Well, no, 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 sir. The, the last problem was the start date of your retirement benefits from my records. Yeah, you this guys want to know what the real problem is? Now, what would the real problem be, sir? The problem is going to be when my lawyer has to come down there and straighten things out because it's no. getting into a point where, you know, I'm starting to, you know, feel abused. Yeah, Rich, now don't feel abused. The, what the, kind of an operation are you guys running down there? The problem, Rich, seems to be that you, you guys are supposed to be representing me. And I'll tell you the problem. You're going to have a problem when you hear from my lawyer, all right? Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh, old hothead. What a hothead. No well, kidding. we'll be calling him back, huh, Sully? Yes. <laughs> Talk about flying off the handle. Oh, oh that's, that's beautiful. Well, at least he's at the end of his rope trying to work this all out. Now he's got to work. It's, it's oh, that obviously is wonderful. pretty hot. Okay. Which is a great way to sting somebody on Dirty Friday if you know somebody who's hot about something already. <laughs> How are we going to ream him this next time? Let me think. Sully, let me think here. All right. Okay, let me think. We're going to give him a call back and really <laughs> dick with him now. Now that I know he's such a hothead. Hello? Hello. Uh, I'm looking for Rich, please. Speaking. Rich, hi. I'm Colin once again from the uh, Union Local. You guys don't quit, huh? <sighs> but Rich, look, I, I understand you're upset, and I don't want you calling your lawyer here because we've got a few issues that if we can just clear up your file here, we can get you paid. Okay. Now, let me, Rich, let me, let me hear what you have to say. Well, you're telling me you've been working since 1974. Correct. And, uh, Rich, you're also telling me that after our first dispute, which you, I guess, agreed with us, you're getting your benefits now at the end of June. Is that right? Correct. So you're not going to be working at the end of June. This is your official retirement. Uh, I'm done. Well, Over Rich, you done. see, now, Rich, the six-year period from 1990 to 1996, you were paying your benefits, according to our computer-generated printout. But I was. 
But that's Rich, a, that's, a, that's a problem you guys have there, not me. No, Rich, you see, if we've got the problem, you've got the problem because the benefits weren't paid. Now, you could still retire, but it's at a reduced rate. So that's the way things work down there, huh? Well, I've been paying my benefits ever since I walked in the door there. And now you're telling me that I, I've skipped for six years because you guys had a little computer glick? Well, no, now you left, you left, is that correct, to become a, um, a male dancer? Who is this? Excuse me? Well, that's what, what I've got on your file. A male dancer. Yeah. You guys have problems down there. Rich? Uh, yeah. R Rich, you, so you, you made your payments? I made every single payment. Let's just talk about a male dancer. Well, oh, oh, I see. That's what they have planned for your party. I'm sorry. I let the cat out of the bag. A party? For what? For my retirement? You rich, it's Lamont Tonelli on 92 KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Ah, uh, you guys. <laughs> Good morning. You're on the air, bro. <laughs> Getting me stressed out in the morning. Your wife wants to give you a call this morning. Oh, uh, what, what do you have to say to her? I should have known better. <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> hey, Rich, you hold on the line, okay? We've got the brand new Lamont Tonelli Dirty Friday t-shirts. We're going to send you one, okay? All right, fellas. And, and, and Rich, it's an advanced copy because these things don't hit the market until next Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right, man. Hold on the line. We'll set you up. That's our retirement present to you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, that's a one hothead. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Joyce, please. Oh, this is she. Hi, Joyce. How you doing? Uh, good. How is this? Uh, this is Harry Balsack calling from the uh, San Quentin prison. Yes. And I'm calling in regards to, I, I understand you're in, in charge of a church choir. That's correct. Yes, we are. Well, now, is it an actual choir or is it a group? It's actually a 12-member group, including musicians and singers, and um, we, we all perform in church, but we also go to uh, hospitals and nursing homes and well, basically anywhere there's a need, and they perform um, a half-hour set of well, contemporary Christian uh, mixed with some traditional gospel. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Joyce. Now, have you ever, uh, have you ever considered doing Because what we'd like to do is set something like this up for the prisoners. Have you ever performed in a prison before? No, we haven't, but it's nothing that we would rule out. I mean, anywhere mm -hmm. there's a need, we'll go. I mean, yeah. we've, we've done street corners, we've we've done um, well, homeless I think, shelters, yeah. anywhere at all. We, we just want to spread the word, and we're happy to do it. Wherever yeah. there's a calling, we'll be there. Well, I think we've got a calling for you. Now, Joyce, let me ask you, we've got a lot, you know, it's all men here. How, how, many, how many female members do you have in your group? Well, we have a six-member musical group, and then there are singers up front who, who sing. And what, mm -hmm. what it usually is is four females and two male singers. Oh, four females. Jeez, I hope that's not a problem. Oh, let me assure you that these women, I mean, first of all, they wear robes, and I don't think there'll be a problem. They're yeah. very professional. And now, Joyce, Joyce, do you think the gals can sing with their tops off? Because the guys haven't seen a woman for a long time, and I think they'd really enjoy that. Excuse Joyce? Me? No, no, can, can you guys, uh, can, can the band sing the composer Lopoff? Did you say your name was Harry? Yes. And what did, uh, I'm sorry, maybe I'm sorry, what did you ask me? Can, can you, do you know the band Lopoff? Can you sing some Lopoff? Oh, no, no, well, um, well they, we just, as I said, we do traditional... Um, so when, 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 when the band sings and, and the girls are singing with their tops off, can they maybe play a little bit? Do they jiggle for the boys? Was, um, excuse me, where did you say you were calling from? Uh, San Quentin Prison. I don't know. I mean, Can I they wear G-strings or something like that and, and, like, spread it a bit for the boys? Because the prisoners have not seen a female in a long time. Listen, I know you're trying to make light of it. I'm trying to do something good, and I think that you're just... Joyce? Just, Joyce? Yes. Now, would you have your top off, too? It's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the radio. Your husband, Brett, said to give you a call. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Joyce? I just... <laughs> Uh, all I can say is you are a very bad man. <laughs> what? And although I have, I'm considered someone that has a good sense of humor. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's funny, and what? I can't believe he put you up to this. Can I just all I can say is I hope you uh, may God save you. And <laughs> man, oh, she hung up on us. Well, she didn't get you, let you get a word in edgewise. <laughs> you First think they could sing with their tops off? <laughs>